Hey everyone, James Reeves with TFB TV over here at EWA in Germany. And you know, if I'm going to a convention and there's a Steyr booth, I'm going to poke around just to see if there's anything new with the AUG. Turns out, and I am elated to report that there is a new version of the AUG on display here at the Steyr booth. Whether or not we're ever going to see it in the US, mm, who knows, but you know what? Forget about it. Tell us all about this new version of the AUG. Okay, the new story here in Germany is uh, the hunters can use a silencer, a sort of suppressor, because uh, this was completely, even in not European countries, you can use a um, silencer because the law is in every country different. Mm -hmm. This is the biggest story, and this is the nicest story, um, but, you know, in Spain, for example, you can't use it. It's not the States here, mm -hmm. you know, but um, we enjoy it as well, the shooting. And now with the civilian version, what you see here, with the rails with, where you have here, this is completely different like the older models, mm -hmm. you know. You have, a, have here a, a, a different, um, as well, a different um, um, size of possibilities to put a laser on, a flashlight or whatever. Right, and it looks like the hardware is the same. You just kind of exactly. removed, you kind of removed the remove usual foregrip. Exactly. And you can move it and have another extra. So we have a couple of different civil models, and this is not a full auto model. And uh, it's very difficult here to, for the civilian, it's nearly impossible you got a full auto uh, uh, system. So, uh, what you can see, we have from now from the factory, that uh, when, the, 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 when you're shooting, that you're a little bit more safer, that the cartridge is falling. Yeah, case deflector. Exactly, yeah, yeah. the case deflector. But the problem is, when you don't have it, sometimes the people want this. Even when they're hunting with this, it's a different story. They are not militaries. Mm -hmm. And this is people that don't use so much mm -hmm. firearms as well. So, you see, we have more rails, we have more possibilities, we have an the extended sides, top extended rail, top yeah. rail, and we have the sides here as well, but it's normally not on the other models before. Right. Uh, this makes it a little bit easier. And I see you've got some key mod attachment. The key mod attachment we have here as well. You also you can as well. You can make anything what you want. You can put here inside. Is key mod still very popular in Europe? Uh, half and half, you can say. Mm -hmm. They do still. We do it when the people want, for example, in other models, we change it when they want to have one or the other one. It's no problem. Mm -hmm. uh, how it is in the States? Uh, M-Lock is, yeah. is taking over, yeah. and there are still uh, people that like the what you call Pico rail, you yeah. know, the Picatinny yeah. rail. Exactly. But let's talk more about the uh, the suppressor here. The so suppressor, the suppressor had a quick release, you can see it. So you see it, we, you don't have to put the muzzle breaker away. You have it here very easy with the uh, normal mechanism here. You put it on only, lose a little bit the, the nut. And it snaps and in place. Snap in. That's and incredible. Then, and then only, it's like a little bit like a MP5, you know, but it is easier. Right. I think. Because this you put in and turn it. But this is safer, I think. So at its heart, this is a Star Og A3 at its heart. But you guys have added this extended rail, and I see you've got QD mounts right exactly. here, backup iron sights, got some key mod. You've got this forward rail here at the handguard where exactly. the traditional folding uh, folding front grip, where that used to be. Uh, you've got the ability now to mount a suppressor right over the muzzle brake. I mean, this is a pretty neat setup. Oh, and don't forget the ever so exactly. important case deflector. So when is this going to be available in Europe? in this configuration it's it's available and i guess we're never going to see this in the united states yes you will i think you we will yeah, i think okay. so because uh it's a moment it's a moment the fabrication uh they will come up even in the states for the mm -hmm. aug mm -hmm. and i will see um i hundred percent you will have it as well by time i mean do we have any estimate and i I, don't, I know you guys don't like to be nailed down with like price or time but i mean is there any idea no, it's easy you can see it in euros, 2,150 euros. So uh, this is a price, the civilian price, plus VAT. Uh -huh. So, and this is a price what we have here. I don't know what's going on in the States, you know, but here, 
when you come to me and you got the license, I sell it for you. I mean, since I'm an American, do I need a lot? Can I just give you 2,150 euros? You just put that in my backpack and I just go to the airport? Um, <laughs> that was a trick question. You don't have when, to answer. When, 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 and I don't know uh, what the uh, uh, customs will say to you when you come with the things uh, to the airport. Um, if I come through with that, they're going to say sick-ass rifle. That's what they're going to say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You will see it. I think you will have it as well in the States, uh, this model. I think it's no problem. And uh, in the end, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a different story now. And we do every time new things. And this is, a, this is not a new model, you know. Right. Even in your videos before, right. With, right. With, when you was in the factory in, in, in the States. Um, but... I think it's a better it's a better version now. I agree completely. It's a better version. And I'm very excited to see it. I'm very excited to hopefully buy one in the United States. And I thank you for your time walking you are, me through no this. No problem. You're very welcome. And you you know that I'm a, a huge fan. I know. I know. I look a lot a lot of your videos as well, and it's very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, stay tuned. We're going to be bringing you more from Iwa. Take care.